This is JK Sports, John Klinert from Fergus Falls, Minnesota, and I want to welcome you, John, here, and uh, thank you so much for participating in this. So tell me, John, uh, you have a sporting goods, retail, and wholesale company here. Uh, tell me about it. When did it start? Well, I got started in 1987. I was a uh, school teacher, a coach, and a high school principal until 1987, and I was 40 years of age. And I think sometimes when you're 40, you're at a T in a road, which way you're going to go. And uh, I decided uh, to try something. And uh, basically uh, started out of, the, as, out of the station wagon and started at home. Then I worked for somebody in Detroit Lakes. That didn't work out. And somebody in uh, Brainerd. And the guy knew me, played for the New York Giants, and knew who I was. And that really didn't work out. So I said... Uh, I can do it on my own because I believe in honesty and integrity and uh, I always say what's on my mind. I don't beat around the bush. And so that's how uh, basically I got started. John, what were you doing before again? You were a principal, is that correct? Was Now there you were used to getting a, a steady paycheck. What was that like when you were making that first decision to change? Well, that was, that was a, a big decision because I didn't have a dollar in my pocket. Yeah. But uh, I had a good banker in Ron Chebik over in, uh, in Underwood, and uh, Ron's the one that uh, took care of me. Obviously, that was before some of the r new banking laws that they have where they scrutinize everything that you do, you know. And so uh, he covered me. That's how I got started. Where did you start? Did you start in that beautiful building you have now? or? No, I moved into that building on uh, November 22, 1997. I uh, was out of my house. And then I was uh, downtown, uh, let's see, where was it? Right by the Viking Cafe, which is the flour mill now. And then we went over by Ben Franklin. and stop and think about it. And uh, I was over to Ben Franklin and um, decided to uh, buy a piece of property and bought it from one of your employees here, Jerry Warner. And that's how I got started. Everybody worried about me, what I was going to do, but I didn't worry about it because... Uh, I, I felt I can do it. You felt inside you that you could do it and you were willing to take the risk? Oh yeah, I never, everybody else worried about the risk, I didn't worry about that. I, I had strong faith in God that, uh, you know, that I'll be taken care of as long as you work hard and are honest with people and, and uh, not afraid. I grew up on a farm so, you know, we got Sunday afternoon off but I'm not worried about 80, 90 hours a week. That's no big deal to me. Now, how many employees do you have now, John? And did it just start with you alone? Yeah, it was all by myself. And I found somebody to embroider for me, and I found somebody to screen print, and we have about 15. I do have two sons involved with me that I'm incorporated with, but I'm still 51% of the owner. You are doing wholesale. You do manufacturing of custom coats and embroidery, and then you also do retail and some online. Is that correct? Yeah, we have a lot of... Uh, a lot of internet too. Actually, our retail's only uh, last year was 14.8 percent of our business. Yesterday, I was showing a, a person never been in my store, and we were pulling things out of the UPS bag and the uh, postal service bag, and we pulled out uh, 16 boxes before we hit a second state for the second time. So we we ship all over the United States, all over the world, and uh, it's jksports.com that you can go on to. The, the retail actually used to be up 25-30 percent, but what's happening now, and this is one of the big changes in which it's hard to convince uh, bankers and people to understand what this internet business is all about. Right now, our retail store is entwined with the internet, and so if somebody buys in, in Georgia, buys a, a Adidas sweatshirt, they'll find it online and then it'll go off our retail and so no longer do we have it in the retail and we, and we pull that out. The, the internet sales keeps going up all the time. The most we've ever sold to or shipped in one day was 46 states and eight foreign countries. John, did you imagine you would ever have a business this large when you started back in 1987? Did you picture it like this or, or did it just happen or how did it, how did it happen for you? It just happened. It just happened, and I always look at it as the glass is always uh, half full rather than half empty. And uh, I, have a, I have a little jar with uh, some holy water on my desk that's uh, over half full, and I look at that all the time because that's the way you have to look at life.
Do you have like a guaranteed paycheck or do you know how much your paycheck is every month or how does that work? No, I'm the lowest, uh, on an hourly basis, I'm the lowest paid in the whole business. Uh, sometimes the checks get stacked up two, three deep before uh, there's enough money to uh, to cash it. And so uh, it is what it is. And, you know, I'm, I'm a young 63 years of age. I know that, uh, you know, most of my friends are retired, whatever. People talk to me about that, but, uh, you know, i got to get the debt paid down. And, and uh, I've been blessed with with great health, and as long as I had good health, I'll, I'll keep getting up every morning and going to work. Yeah. I don't think about hours. I don't think about, oh, I got 40 hours, or I got Veterans Day off, or a certain day off. I just get up and go to work. If someone were going to start their own business, John, what would be a critical personal trait, one or two, that you'd say they really should have if they're going to start their own business? I'll be willing to work, uh, you know, 70, 80 hours a week, first of all. Uh, you have to be honest with people, you have to have integrity, and y you you just plain have to outwork your competition. You have to, uh, unfortunately, you, you think about it when you're driving a car here and you're driving there, and, and uh, you got to be willing to uh, sleep less than eight hours a day. What has your business done for your employees and their families, John, in your estimation? Well, obviously, we provide, provide jobs and... and uh, all my employees know when I hire them is that uh, uh, God and family are more important than the job. And so if they have to take off for one of their children or their, or their spouse or their mother-in-law or whatever it happens to be, that's number one. And uh, we, we never look at, at work as number one. And so therefore, it's uh, very rare that anybody ever quits because uh, you can only afford to pay so much, but uh, the, the flexibility is is very important to them, and, and I allow that flexibility. How has the economy affected your business, John? It really hurt us. It, it's come back. It really hurt us last year because the schools um, were cut about 35%, and so some of the school superintendents or business managers said you can only have one basketball for the season rather than the normal six or eight. And you're supposed to get uniforms. No, you got to wait another year. And then I think a lot of business people that actually made a profit were holding on till the end of the year and to see what's happened. But uh, we see the corporate world coming back and the uh, school people doing it. Uh, the, the biggest factor is, is, is the banks are so regulated that it's so hard to get money. If, if you have money today, there is money to be made because so many of the companies have great deals, but... You have to have the cash in order to uh, put it out. Yeah. Would you do it over again, John? I'd do it over again, but I'll tell you one thing is is that you're not going to learn about it by going to college and tech school and whatever. I, I really, truly believe that it starts as a young kid, that if you are fortunate to be raised by parents who teach you work ethics and you work hard and you're honest with people and so forth like this. That's where I think it really starts. And then I think the other thing too is that just dealing with numbers. My father, you know, was was talk about, you know, multiplication tables and, and when I was in third grade I knew them all all the way up to twelve times twelve and some of the people were worried about one times two and they brought that up in my fortieth class reunion. And so I think if you're gonna be in business you you have to be a person that can deal with numbers and, and then it helps to remember names and, and people and, and that type of thing, too. That does make a difference. If you could say one thing about America and being a businessman in America, what would you say? Well, I, I'm, you know, proud that we, when we make jackets, this is made in Fergus Falls. And uh, I am one of these people who, when I hear somebody that sings or Star Spangled Banner or whatever, sometimes I get a little tear in my eye. Um, I think as we look forward to, you know, the Veterans Day here, is that uh, um, I'm I'm proud to be American.